Hi everyone, welcome to RC Fun and Games again. Today we are doing an unboxing of an excavator. This is the Hyana 1593. If I'm not mistaken, it's got the aluminium bucket. I'll give you guys a good show around the box. You guys can see. That's what you think of that. Okay, so he has the top of the box. Okay, anyway, on the front side of the box here, guys, it does say it's remote controlled, it's 2.4 gigahertz frequency, it simulates real manipulation, it simulates real driving, and simulates real light and sound. So, it sounds like it's pretty interesting, and I don't want to waste any more time to get into this. So, I'm getting into it. Where's my knife? Here we are. Let's get it. So, anyway. There we are, guys. So, once we get him out of the box, we get the instructions to it. I don't see anything else inside the box, guys. Okay, so now we've got this case like this. Let's get it open. There we are. Control is good. Quite an interesting case they give at least. There you are. That's how it comes, guys. So, shall we get them out? Yeah. Okay, guys. So, that is the beast. Check it out. I must say, it does weigh quite a bit, 3.9 kilos, it is quite heavy, it's heavier than I thought it was to be. Yeah, solid aluminium, nice big bucket on it guys, I'm really impressed. Can't wait to get this thing out to try it out, so I think the best thing I can do guys, I see that one of the cables have come out on, so I just want to see if I can put it on, and where does it go? Oh cool, guys, what do you guys think of that? Okay guys, let's get on with control, getting the battery in the controller. And this is what it comes like. Interesting, hey guys. Now, let's just get the batteries in there. Okay, let's connect up the battery, guys. There's the cover in, as you guys can see. Cover, very simple. It's actually quite a nice compartment. That's right. There it goes, turn it back. Okay. Now, turn the controller on. on. And I know that underneath here we have a button. Okay. Wow. Okay. Starts up immediately. So, let's see what happens when I press this one. Okay, that turns off the lights. So this one turns off the lights, this one does the sounds, guys. There we are, now put the lights back on. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's see.
home button guys is a bit dodgy out of the box so I'll have to see what I can do about that besides that it seems to be pretty good just turn off the sound so that's the arm that's the boom up and down guys so if I do this one okay. so that is the boom up and down I'm assuming this is going to do the buckets, yeah. And okay, and then this one, yeah, moves the front part of the arm. And this one should move the actual body. And that's the cool part about it, that I can go around in circles. It doesn't have a limit. Cool. Okay. So what do you guys think? I get this thing outside and I go and test it in some real dirt. Hey, come on guys, let's get out with it. As you guys can see, this is my first time ever trying this machine, guys, and uh, it's not not the worst, it's definitely not the easiest, but it's nothing that you can't get used to. Ooh, let's jump right there. You see? Okay, let's go down for another dig. All right. Okay, let's try again. As you guys can see, it's actually quite capable of digging. It's really not that bad yet, I'm quite impressed. Okay, let's just uh, go there, we'll throw it on this side again. Just gonna test this digger for a bit and see how it fares. But anyway, here we go. Oh, look. The engine has started. Now, let's continue. We turned them off. You say battery? I know you dug a much bigger hole than mine. 